Hello everyone, I'm Zoe. Hemodialysis is one of the important treatment methods for end-stage renal failure, and the nurses play a key role in the successful of treatment. It requires nurses not only to have excellent operational skills and a solid professional theory, but also to have ability to education and management. I think there are two factors to be a good hemodialysis nurses. The internal factor is the nurses checked requirements on themselves, while the external factor is the supporting and the training of nurses in the hemodialysis center. The first part, an excellent hemodialysis nurse should be checked with herself and uh, process the following ideal qualities. The 1.1 HD nurses should have a strong sense of responsibility, love, and patience. Hemodialysis is a complicated operation with high technical requirements, and patients depend on machines and nurses, which requires nurses to have a strong sense of responsibility. Patients with end-stage renal failure need to undergo the maintenance hemodialysis, which is prone to Pesmise and uh, despair due to the suffering caused by the disease, the loss of job opportunities, the deciding of law of life quality, and the huge economic burden. HD nurses need to care, warm, and uh, encourage patients with love. In addition, love also needs to be used on dialysis equipment so as to timely clear, uh, disinfect. And maintain them to better, better, uh, better save patients. Finally, patients with hemodialysis have different understanding and ex, uh, execute ability due to their different educational level, family status, age, and uh, living habits. Nursing should patient provide personalized care and do a good job in explanation. 1.2. Nurses, sh HD nurses should have sold practical skills and uh, extensive knowledge of knowledge. So the practical skills can reduce pain of HD patients and some technical complications, which is the basis for gaining patients' trust. Extensive renal knowledge and other professional knowledge are the granting for patients to receive adequate dialysis. Enhance self care ability, reduce complications, and improve quality of life. 1.3 HD nurses should be keen ob observation and perception ability. Okay, in the process of hemodialysis, patients may appear all sorts of complications, such as high blood pressure, low blood pressure, such as imbalanced seizure. Some patients, due to financial difficulties, Fear of interpretation of the blood uh, dialysis, even if you are unwell, will find back, which requires the nurses to voluntarily observe patients' condition change, timely find problems and the pos positive treatment, provide patients' comfort to achieve the perfect effect. 1.4 HD nurses should have decisive and uh, calm handling ability. In the process of hemodialysis, some emergencies may occur, such as air embolism, cardiac arrest, uh, mechanical folio, and other accidents. In the face of those problems, nurses should be calm and calm, be able to make prompt decisions, take a pro appropriate missions and solve all kinds of problems in a timely manner so that patients can have a sense of secret. 1.5. HD nurses should have good communication, conciliation, and uh, educational skills. A good relationship with the patient and his or her family is conductive to patient's management and education. Patient self-care ability is a necessary condition for patients to improve their quality of life, which depends on nurses' health education. 
The second part, the support and the training of nurses in hemodialysis center are also essential for excellent hemodialysis nurses. 2.1. Hemodialysis center should increase the number of equipment and nurses according to the growth rate of patients. 2.2. Provide systematic and intensive counseling and training for new nurses, include theoretic, theoretic knowledge and technical operation of hemodialysis, as well as personalized management of patients. 2.3. The new hemodialysis nurse should work together with an experienced, experienced nurse teacher, gradually master and adopt to the work of HD center under the guidance of the teacher and work independently after passing the final, final assignment. 2.4. Due to the rapid development of hemodialysis, job education and continued education for all nurses is very necessary which is conductive to the consolidation and updating of hemodialization related knowledge. Mm -hmm. This is the dialyzer and it acts as the kidney, mm -hmm. which filters the blood and also removes um, fluids that are in excess within the body. Um, it's pretty simple. We set the time the patient would run a goal for the amount of fluid we would remove and it automatically calculates an hourly rate um, and we can control the fluid removal with this button right here it's called a UF ultrafiltration rate or ultrafiltration um, here is where fluids enter the dialyzer and here's where the waste is removed so that blood enters through here the fluids enter through its counter current flow and this is where the blood is cleansed as a dialysis nurse, it can provide the dialysis care for various patients. You will see patients with kidney damaged diseases, which can cause um, kidney disease. Responsible for explaining dialysis procedures to new patients. Setting up all necessary equipment, including hemodialysis machines. Ensure that uh, safety pro pro procedures uh, are followed uh, and uh, dialysis uh, treatment uh, in performance. Responsible for monitoring the patient's health throughout uh, the dialysis uh, treatment and uh, reporting progress to his doctor. The dialysis nurse work in a dialysis clinical or hospital.
Um, in the care of the physical exercise lifeline of dialysis patients, we have the following needs to be done. I prefer to talk about uh, nursing of hemodialysis patients. Uh, for for nursing, how to be a good diagnosis nurse? I think uh, I think uh, nurse should be make the plan. So I talk about end of diagnosis and diagnosis inventor nursing, include in puncture seat process to stop bleeding. Ask the patient for discomfort such as dizziness and sweating. Major and record blood pressure and uh, weight. Strengthen patient management and uh, indicator during diagnosis. Next, I talk about vector access nursing guide. Guide is very important. Um, for patient, for nursing, is tier is also important. Vector access important guides include in keep the local skin and the inventor vascular skin and avoid getting wet. Avoid pressure on the lips of inventor vascular. Load bearing, wall watchings, and do not do not wear tight, sleeved clothes. Pay attention to sleep posture. Avoid compressing the last 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 lips and the inventor vascular. And avoid in exposing the lips of uh, excessively cold and overhand environments. Pay attention to. Protecting the inventor vascular and avoid collection and other trimmer to prolong its use period. Next, I talk about hemodialysis guide. Establish a healthy lifestyle, such as uh, quitting smoking and uh, alcohol, and have a regular life. Encourage patients to exercise. Proportionally and do what they can. Um, the, nutri the nutrition problem of diagnosis patients are extremely important, and the nutritional statute directly affects the long term survival of patients and the importance of quality of life. Um, I think, uh, I think, I think nutrition. I think nutrition for patient include in sufficient heart, a uh, poor mute protein, and limited porzine, porzine, and sodium, and uh, for foreigns, vitamin and materials such as. I think to be a good hemodialysis nursing you need to know the complication of hemodialysis. I think com com complication of hemodialysis have five. Number one, in elephantis imbalances syndrome the beginning of hemodialysis uh, patients taxing in the main nation of fast main appear imbalance imbalance same drum mean so a headache number two allergic allergic reaction such a nausea and uh, vomit vomit at the time of him 
uh, hemodialysis and some patients on uh, dialysis. Mem membrane bi biological material of intelligence may appear allergic recursion. High number three, dehyd dehydration, low blood pressure, drying hemodialysis patients may also be dehydrated to fast run. Number four, a rear a rear smear and uh, hypertension dialysis intolerance intolerance patients on hemodialysis may also have complications such as a risk smear and uh, and uh, hypertension as well as dialysis intolerance number 5 hemolytic air a mobilization, another complication of hemodialysis is the uh, occurrence of hem hem hemor hemolytic air embolization uh, and so on. But this, they are, these are relatively rare. Therefore, it is necessary to prevent this complication during hemodialysis. Thank you.